Hey guys, Lamfan82 here again today with episode 4 of Alphabetic Hybrids. In today's episode, every player's last name will start with the letter D as you can see on the screen right now. And the video is pretty long, about 13 minutes, so please stay tuned for the whole gameplay at the end. So we're playing the 3-4-2-1 formation here and in goal I've got De Winter. He's from Belgium and not the best to be quite honest as you will see in the gameplay later on probably. Gone for 400 coins, not the best stats at all, 68 over already. Then the first center back is the Silver Derijic. I actually don't know how to pronounce that name, so I'm sorry, but 67 pace, 74 defending, 69 heading, pretty standard overall, nothing too amazing, but he does the job there. Then as left center back, probably one of the best players of this team is the inform Ryan Donk. 79 in pace, 83 defending and 82 heading, great player there, costs around 100,000 coins, by now his price um, has dropped of course a bit, but he is worth every coin, trust me there. Then the right, cent right center back is Douglas, the inform from Twente, 70 in pace, good heading stat and uh, defending as well and strong in game, so a pretty good center back there as well. <clears throat> then the right midfielder is going to be... Douglas or Douglas from Heracles Almelo, um, 73 pace, 75 in dribbling, 3 star skill moves, not the best once again but pretty cheap and I could fit him into the squad here partnering Duarte who's usually a center attacking midfielder, I converted him to center midfielder, um, 81 pace, 74 dribbling and 4 star skill moves, oh, no, actually I bought him in the center midfield role already for 5500 coins. Then the left center midfielder I chose is the team of this season or team of the year Dost with 94 shooting, 89 heading, 80 pace. He usually is a striker but I thought I might try him out as a center midfielder because of his high shooting and he only has two star skills so I didn't want him up front. Then as left midfielder I've got the very pacey Drenthe from Everton in the Buckers Premier League. 90 pace and he really is fast in game, um, really good player, 80 dribbling as well but I think only three star skill moves so um, but yeah the pace of course makes up for that then as right winger actually have a bronze player called Degman who's quite good actually for his price got him for 200 coins 84 pace decent dribbling for a bronze player and his shooting wasn't too bad either then as striker I got the Everton version of Landon Donovan 83 overall rated 87 pace 80 shooting 82 passing 83 dribbling 3 star skill moves and pretty good finishing as I found out in game. Decent player there. And then as left wing of course the team of the year Dempsey or team of the season Dempsey. 92 shooting, great stats overall but I'll talk a little bit more about him in the gameplay. Um, so actually this squad didn't perform too well for me as you can see here every player is online chemistry. So I lost about 3 tournament semi-finals before this tournament I am actually going to show you right here and I got a little bit frustrated to say the least well frustrated in a way because it's in at the end of the day it's only a video game FIFA but nevertheless you get quite frustrated after a while when you're losing when you keep losing games with a squad so in this first round I come up against a standard BPL team and probably this goal changed everything for me in this tournament from Duarte. What a nice finish by him there. Very nice long shot by him. And from that moment on, I just wanted to destroy my opponents. I wanted to win this tournament. Um, yeah, whoever I came up against. And now I'll actually talk a little bit about the squad because there are definitely some downsides to it. Um, first of all, the center center, uh, the center, center back from Belgium isn't too fast so you kind of get caught on counter attacks especially with the three at the back formation but um, Ryan Dong and Douglas kind of make up for that because they are both two very good center backs especially Dong is just an amazing player if you can fit him in any of your squads he's a very good player and well worth the coins as I said in the beginning of the video um, now I had of course Dost as a center midfielder and that was an experiment and it pretty much more or less uh, yeah, failed in a way. He's very clumsy on the pitch in my opinion and uh, with two star skill moves and his shooting actually isn't too good. 
for it being 94 on his card, which is a ridiculous stat on a card. Um, he didn't perform too well for me, of course, that might um, be concerning to the position. But um, in my opinion, even as a striker, he wouldn't be yeah, worth the, I think, around three, uh, 33,000 coins I paid for him. So the first match here, I won 5-1 to one and prepare for some, yeah, for a lot of goals actually in this video coming up here. Ben Duarte as center midfielder. He, of course, would be better as a center attacking midfielder, but couldn't fit him in that role. So um, he's actually a decent player, of course, not the best going backwards as I come up here against a player with um, a non-rare Liga VVA team apart from Tuchowski, Benzema and Falcao up front. Um, then the left midfielder Drente, as I said, um, with the squad building, he's very fast and he's one of those players when you, where you really feel that he has got these 90 pace in game. He's very fast, very agile with the ball and just a great player all round. And if he had four star skill moves, it would of course be very nice, but um, yeah, you can change that. And I think he cost me around 16,000 coins or maybe 17,000 and he's well worth the coins just for the pace in my opinion there. And this is probably the best cutback goal I've ever seen. Um, was intended to be a fancy pass but didn't work out too well as you can see there. Um, I'll quickly talking about the goalkeeper as this clip here comes up. He's horrible at saving or at trying to save finesse shots and uh, I know this is a general topic in FIFA that finesse shots are too easy to score but especially this keeper he wasn't the tallest so it was very easy for my opponents to actually score finesse shots against him and I wouldn't um, yeah, pick him personally for any other team I build because he just isn't a good goalkeeper. The right midfielder I had was Douglas as well and he was basically there for chemistry reasons. Nothing too amazing but his passing was actually, actually pretty decent so um, not too much to complain about there. And here's one of my only goals I think from Dost. But this is just horrible defending by my def uh, by my opponent rather than good play by Dost. As you can see, he's very tall as well and just feels clumsy and I'm not a great fan of him. And now talking about probably the biggest letdown of this squad was Clint Dempsey, the team of the season version. And uh, maybe it was just because I played him as a left winger and he's usually a left midfielder and has a high defending work rate, um, which lets him be in very weird positions at some point. Sometimes he was even far further back than my two center midfielders, which kind of confused me there because even with a high defending work rate in the 3-4-2-1 formation, your left winger shouldn't be um, yeah, too far back. And because this formation is very attack oriented and uh, probably the most attacking formation. And as you can see there, once again, fail on the fancy pass there because Dempsey touches it right before the line. So this game actually ended 10 to 1, which was crazy. The goal scoring galore continues. Um, talking more about Dempsey now, even when he was in the right position, his shooting just didn't feel too great. I don't know what it was with him. I Maybe I tried to go for too many amazing goals with him because when you see the stats on the card, like 92 shooting on a left winger or left midfielder, compared with the four star skill moves, you just yeah, instantly try to go for good goals and I know his shots just uh, weren't too powerful in my opinion his finishing in general wasn't too good so not a big fan of his maybe I have to try him out in a yeah overall better team and then as a left midfielder by the way nice goal here by Douglas the right midfielder and now the final player of this well wait actually the right winger um, Dijkman, for a bronze player, as uh, the game lags here quite a lot, um, he was actually decent. I paid 200 coins for him, 84 pace on his card, good dribbling for a bronze player, good shooting as well. So, I don't know, nothing too amazing, but as you can see here, he can finish the ball and he is a good player at the right wing spot. Would have, prefer would have preferred him to be left footed, but um, you can't change that as well. 
and that that he would have been a very nice passing sequence goal if that actually had gone in then my opponent here yeah, once again was horrible defending and I don't know, maybe I just had luck this time in the tournament because I didn't come up against the two best, they yeah, were the best players. And actually leading here 6 0 already once again, and then another goal by Dickman who scored quite a lot for me actually. Um, so then the final player of this team um, was Donovan up front. Would have loved to get the inform version, but the inform only exists for his. LA Galaxy version in the MLS. By the way, I won that match 7 to 1. Um, yeah, well, what I was talking about, uh, Donovan for Everton only um, has got a non inform version, which was pretty good in my opinion. I mean, I think I paid like 3,400 coins for him, if I remember correctly. Um, his finishing is very good, he's very fast. And uh, this is, by the way, he, a very nice finish by Drente there. Um, but Donovan was a great player overall. Three star skill moves. Once again, would have wished him to have four star skills. But um, anyways, good player there. And I think, yeah, this is the last game. Obviously, here the final. I'm already leading one to none. And then he just tackles me there with Ferdinand. I thought that might have been, yeah, not in the box, actually. So that might have... Well, I think that should have been a free kick. Nevertheless, Donovan is a good penalty kick taker as well, and then my opponent forgets to hit up on his right um, yeah, analog stick. And oh, here another goal by Doss, just somehow walking through his defender there and then knocking out Ferdinand in the yeah, celebrating action. And then I get another penalty here. Once again, not 100% sure if that was a penalty or not. Um, once again putting Donovan on it, this time not going down the middle but to the left. Um, and as I said, he is a good penalty kick taker. So I think I'm already up 4-0 here in the final, which is pretty crazy. I was on a roll now with this squad. And here you can see the pace of Drenthe. This is actually Lennon he's running against. And then abusing the cross, which is uh, kind of a another FIFA problem, but I'm not going to into much detail about it again. So my opponent is on ultra attacking, as you can see he's got a lot of players up front and then Dempsey with one of his few goals for my squad. So I think this video is coming pretty much to a close now because as you will see here in the second half right after the kickoff he gets a red card with Ferdinand whom he had a yellow already and then got the second one with this foul. And after my horribly executed free kick... um. Yeah, he decides to rage quit. So I win this tournament with a lot of goals scored. So I win the Advanced Cup with this team. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. As always, if you could drop a like on it, that would help me out a lot. And I hope you are still listening to this commentary. It's very long, but I hope you stayed tuned for that. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't already, you can, of course, also follow me on Twitter. It's at lump 92 there. And I'll see you guys later. Thanks again for watching this video.